Hey everybody, it's Kevin from 3D Printed Props, and today is the last video in the series, the last Red Hood helmet video, and in today's video, we are gonna work on weathering this helmet. Now, if you're interested in buying this helmet fully printed, you can head over to villainousprop.com or their Etsy page, links are below. Now, weathering is one of my favorite parts of the process. You can see this guy is already weathered. So let's go ahead behind the fake wall and I'll take you through how I did it. Okay, so the helmet actually already has a little bit of weathering going on and that's in the back because the elastic, when I open the helmet and close the helmet, it scrapes a little bit. So we're gonna add some more of that, but with paint. So I like to use this Tamiya stuff. It's a dry rub and uh, it looks like makeup, but it's a nice dry applicator. And we're going to just use some acrylic paints with just some cheap brushes. So let's go ahead. And I like to start with using a black and then I'll use a little bit of brown on this. And I start off with the brush and that sort of puts that base coat down. And what this dry rub stuff does is it looks like dirt. It's very, very effective in looking like smudges and dirt. And then I'll go in with the, with the uh, sort of rubber end, the sort of makeup, more makeup like applicator. And that puts a thicker amount mount on and really starts to make this thing look um, like it's worn like it's got dirt and the key thing is where you put it now if you notice I'm putting the dirt in the recesses in the creases in the folds because that's where dirt would end up accumulating you wouldn't have you know dirt on like the the nose area or the or the maybe like the the points where uh you're you're touching it all the time and, and it'd be rubbing off but a lot of times you're going to have dirt especially in these little cracks and crevices so i always fill those in first again uh you know using the brush and then adding a little bit more and more over time and i like to add the brown in because it gives the dirt a little bit of a dimension to it and i'm just going to go all the way around this uh, sort of this line and this crease in here to make it almost look like you know the the crack that's already that I painted black that is due to dirt accumulation and grime accumulation and it would bleed out a little bit and you can see that with the brush you get a lot of control and with this sort of dry method um, a lot of people will do this with an airbrush uh, I am not the best at controlling an airbrush so I end up just like using this uh, this dry rub method and it really really gives you a nice look now we're gonna add some silver highlights with rub and buff and what you're gonna do is you're gonna use a cheap brush that it isn't smooth it's got some jaggedness to it and you're just going to sort of uh, put a tiny bit of rub and buff on and then just lightly brush over the areas where you would think paint would scrape away and leave a more of a silvery sort of look to it and that's all I'm doing here is very little bit of rub and buff on there and just sort of dragging it and pulling it on the edges where scratches would happen and i'm thinking you know like when the helmet is coming on and off or when you're reaching back with your hands to pull it off you know just areas where scratches would happen and if you're not sure about this you know do a little bit of research look up you know old helmets uh you know uh, battle damaged helmets and you'll see tons of different sort of examples of how people do this and you know just some real life helmets but you know you're definitely going to find things on the edges like this so that's where i like to add that stuff it gives it that just that little extra dimension like the paint has chipped off now there's many many different ways to do this some people People will put down a bit of uh, mustard or latex or some type of you know even ketchup and they'll paint over that and then it'll just sort of rub off and it'll look like a bloopy mess I like to add it later on now I'm gonna add a little bit of acrylics in here I want the area uh, in the sort of nose area there to be a lot darker than I'm getting with the rub so I'm gonna use some acrylic so you you can water it down or you can go full acrylic and then what you do is you sort of dab it away with a paper towel now you don't want to dab too too much because what it's going to do is take too much away but this is something that you build a uh, weathering is something that you build now th if you use acrylic right after this dry stuff it will take that off but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this area where the nose would crinkle to be a lot darker because again that's the biggest crevice so that's what is going to take most of the dirt and hold it in there and don't panic when you're doing this because you go slow you add uh, you know pigment upon pigment and you'll get the look you're going for if not, you can just wipe it off because remember we did put a clear coat on this and you're not really putting it on the paint so 
This is how I like to make my weathering. I like to make it look dirty, grimy, not too stylized, but real. So I'm just sort of putting some paint on this paper towel, dabbing it, wiping it off, looking at the helmet, putting a little bit more paint on it. Sometimes I'm using uh, more of a concentrated bit of paint. Sometimes I'm using a paint with a lot of water in it to give it this dirty, grimy look. And again, this is the look I like. Some people like to go with a lot more stylized weathering, but I think this really looks battle-hardened, worn. This thing was in battle, and you know, I think it looks pretty cool. So you can use pretty much anything to weather with. The key thing is to just have fun with it. Think of where the cracks and crevices are. Think of where dirt would show up, where scratches would show up, and choose the medium that you want to use. I like the dry stuff and just plain acrylics. But you can go in there with an airbrush. You can go in there with a file and actually scar it up and scuff it up. It's whatever you want. Now, some people are going to say, uh, Kevin, I don't want to do anything. I like it nice and shiny and looking pristine and new. You can do that. You don't have to finish your helmets. I like to do it because it really gives it that sort of worn look. And, you know, this is straight from battle. Jason Todd just got done fighting somebody and took it off and threw it on the ground. And that's how it looks. Those are the looks I'm going for. Again, if you don't want to do that, don't do it. Keep it shiny and pristine. It's really, really up to you. So I had a really fun time working on this series. Uh, if you want, go back and take a look at all the steps I did to create this helmet. Again, just a great looking helmet and I'm super, super happy with it. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Thanks a lot and take it easy.